Hey YouTube, I wanted to make a quick video on maintaining your water system. Where I live, we don't have city water, so we have to get our water from the ground and, and through a well. And what I have here, let me just give you an overview. I have a water softener, and as you can tell by the tank, from the sun and stuff, it's faded and it's starting to break down a little bit. So what I'll do next is I'll get some uh, black Rust-Oleum paint and paint this so that the fiberglass doesn't come apart. Um, here I have a carbon tank. This, this basically removes the iron and metals from your waters that's coming through the system and this will take out the bacteria, the smelly stuff. This is your carbon tank or your carbon filter. And what I'm doing today is I'm going to go ahead and regenerate this as, or, or what they, that's what it's called, regenerating. Um, basically what I'm doing is I'm just cleaning it out. Uh, what I've done is I've detached the whole tank from the system. I bypassed it with this bypass valve here. I took out the back flow pipe which goes to the back and then I unscrewed these two little screws that hold these leaflets and they clamp on to the back of the system. Okay. Anyway, once that's done you can detach the tank if you have a fleck head, which is what's on these tanks, you can go ahead and detach it and do your maintenance. And this is a fleck head. This is what it looks like covered and this is what it looks like uncovered. It's got a timer and stuff on it. So the next thing I'm going to do is unscrew the top. I've already unscrewed this one, so I'm just going to pull it off. Ta-da! Anyway, down here you're going to see the pipe. Try not to get that out of there. You're going to dump out some of the water. Just lean, lean the uh, tank over. Dump out the water. I've already done that. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to get some chlorine. Clorox, pool chlorine. I use pool chlorine. You can buy any. The cheapest uh, Clorox is works just fine. I like to pull chlorine because it's a little bit stronger. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour it down the pipe. And this will get the chlorine down into the media, down into the, uh, to the carbon. Just pour it in there. There's no, nothing fancy. You're going to let this sit for about 15 minutes in there before you put your head back on. Then you're going to put your head on put it back into working order, working in service, and you're going to run the water through your house at the furthest point, mine being my uh, bathroom and my bedroom. So I'm going to go ahead and open up that faucet and let the water run through my entire house, run through the system, and I'm going to do that until I smell the chlorine. Once I smell the chlorine, I'm going to shut it off and let the chlorine the chlorinated water sit inside the piping in my house for about an hour or so, maybe half an hour, hour. And then once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and open up all of my faucets, flush my toilets, put on my showers. That way I can get the chlorine out of the system. Make sure you don't do any laundry or anything like that um, for at least a, an hour or so because you don't want to ruin your, your clothes or maybe, maybe even longer. But you definitely want to run the water through the house before you do that. So anyway, after 15 minutes or so, you want to put your head back on, and it's really simple, you just screw it on. And again, these are fleck heads. Some systems do it all by themselves, and you don't have to detach it or anything. I just have an older system. Um, some of them have a valve you just pour the chlorine into, and it'll take it right into the carbon tank. So I don't want to over tighten. Take this off, slide it back into place. And not all systems are like this. So I'm just showing you mine. And this is what I have to do to get mine done. I mean, obviously there are some that are very uh, hold on. There are a lot more um, self-cleaning than this one, but this is what I have, so this is what I gotta work with. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure that those gaskets are clean, and my connections are clean. I do this about once a month or when my water starts to smell funny, my kids will tell me, hey daddy, the water stinks and I'll just come out here and do this. All part of living out here on 
in the country on your And I'm sure that there are easier systems out there. Um, I just didn't see one that really kind of covered doing this. So hopefully this will help you out with your water system. Okay. I've got those clamped in. They're all set. Got my screws tightened down. My cover back on. I'm going to put it in the service. I guess I should have done this before. You want to make sure it's at in service on your flex head. Okay? That's it. Put the cover on. I hope that gave you just a little help there in uh, maintaining your system. Again, you want to make sure you keep these painted so they don't, you know, you can get a maximum use out of them. Um, anyway, I hope you like it. Subscribe and uh, share your comments. If you have a better way of doing it, I'd like to hear about it. Uh, like I said, we, I just did this video because I didn't see too many of them out there. Thanks for watching.